Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, but with tsunamis. This is incredible. So yes, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 has added tsunamis and we need to figure out where can we hide to survive it. So on the new map, the Dead Marshes, you've got all of these cool little castles strewn about the landscape. Here, I want to do a siege in this castle. There's only two gates in. Maybe in the next one we could do, you know, defenders versus 100,000 on all sides. But I, what I want to learn is if the soldiers that are in this castle can use the walls to survive. Now, you'll notice in the top middle we have a number of special abilities like being able to shoot shotguns. We also have nukes, which we'll fire off into the desert there. Oh, please, please don't blow off. Oh, are these guys dead? I didn't mean to hurt you guys. Yeah, but uh, we got mushroom clouds and nukes. And then there's another special ability called Noah's Flood. Now, when you fire it, you expect to see, well, a flood, but instead you get this. Hello. It looks like I'm dropping like a million blackberries and then they turn into this. And I guess that's pretty cool looking. We're basically building the Burj Dubai Tower just using water. Once it hits, it spikes up and that's pretty cool but like does it do enough well, i guess we could do run a little test currently we've got 851 soldiers in here what if we flooded them does it kill them oh it actually does okay so they can drown even if it's only for a couple seconds of being under the water oh my gosh okay i like how these guys are still alive because their heads were able to stay above water which is kind of how drowning works a lot of people miss swim class that's for sure but there's 12 people surviving but there's a lot bigger castles out there. In our last video, we went to see if 1,000 soldiers could hold this castle. And here they are, right here, to see if they could defend against 100,000. We're gonna kick this battle off because first, before we see whether or not fortresses can defend against tsunamis, we need to understand the true power of a tsunami. And honestly, how they work. Because we know how shotgun smites work. Hey, look. That's actually killing a fair amount of people. And we know how Noah's Flood works, but I've never really fired a tsunami off. And we definitely know how nukes work. Oh gosh, that, that actually... Oh, surprisingly, like if that was a real nuke, they would have sent a blast wave out that would have knocked a lot of people on their tukuses. Tus t tukuses? Tsunami. So let's try the tsunami. Oh wow, these guys are really fanning out. They know that something bad is coming, so let's hit one of these flanks. So I don't know whether I fire it and it goes in a certain direction, so let's just do a test. These guys are terrified. We fired the tsunami and it literally just summons it out of nowhere. And look at this. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at the number of units that are just getting destroyed. They do try to avoid it though, which is pretty incredible. But the tsunami itself is very, very powerful. But I guess it does kind of trickle down at some point. There's this giant, like what if you had like some kind of a wizard or a watermancer or whatever they're called. Aquamancers? Yeah. And you're like, you're Gandalf and you're like holding the gate and you're like, all right, summon the tsunami. And you just fired it at the gate. They have about 90,000 troops. And you just summon the tsunami and look at all these people that are charging into it. Oh my gosh, this is biblical. Like, Lord of the Rings doesn't have stuff like this. I mean, I guess they did, right? There was that little, like, horse river magic trick thing that Arwen did. Oh my goodness. They are down. They went from 90,000 to 15,000. Oh, hold on. The walls are kind of holding, but water did flood in through the gate. Look at this. You can see it. Oh my gosh. Look at this, we, we created a water park here. None of these soldiers died. Somehow, water physics is broken by gates. This is amazing. So now it's 1,000 versus 12,000, and I'm fairly certain that they could defend. Oh, but the water does linger around, and it's causing this, like, mass migration. But instead of a migration, it's like, we don't have homes. There's a lot of homes in here. Let's lay siege to this city and raid it and loot it and move in. So now the soldiers are pouring in through the flank here. But if none of these soldiers died, surprisingly enough, then I think these guys would get through, but they would be ultimately defeated by our army here. So, but that's not what we're here to test, are we? No. In the far flung corners of the empire over here, or is it over there? I want to do another tsunami. I want to see it break. Oh, these guys better run. Okay, so if we did it here, can it hit this top row up here? 
We must perform the tsunami test. Aquamancer, do that thing. Oh, these poor guys are like, wait, we literally just dodged a tsunami. But we're seeing it's tall enough. It should, oh gosh, it is. Get in the walls. Oh no. Wait, is it going over? Oh my God, it's going over the walls. Every soldier on this side has to have perished. Is there a single soldier? Wait, hold on. I see a few right here. There are four soldiers of this army of 100,000. Oh, he drowned. He must have gotten bit by some goldfish or something. Maybe a couple angry frogs. Uh, is anyone else on this flank alive? And how far did the water get in? It pushed in pretty deep. And look, here's the soldiers. The catapults are flying. Now I've got a question. What if you fired a tsunami here? Will it go over these walls through this gate? and then over the next set of walls. Maybe that's why Minas Tirith had seven walls. Maybe they had flooding issues way back in the day. Oh no, it's a flood. Oh gosh, uh-oh. Do these guys survive or do they drown? Oh no. Guys, I think, look at these guys running away. 360, 290, the numbers are dropping. Some of the defenders, oh look at these guys. Oh, uh, every defender died, okay. So the walls kind of help, but now let's do a test. Let's do 1 million soldiers in a holding formation. We need to put them in an open field like right there because what we need to understand is if 1 million soldiers can survive. Now this one is on a cliff and a wall. So we're going to start this battle. Those men were sent to hold formation. So they should wait us. You can actually see them all out there. Wow. That's nuts. Okay. We summon the tsunami right here. And then, yeah, because, like, look at this. This is very heavily elevated. I think the water... Oh, okay, it rises. This reminds me of the game Creeper World. You guys ever play Creeper World? Oh, my. Okay. Yeah, even on a cliff and with strong medieval walls, I think every soldier in here is going to <clears throat> lose the ability to breathe air and instead breathe water and die because we don't have gills. Is there a single soul? I guess you could put men up on the walls. I just realized that like a really fun mini game or a really fun game could be like making a game where you have to survive flooding natural disasters using buildings and earthworks. Okay, now the next test, 1 million soldiers. Man, it really takes me forever to get to the other side. I'm holding shift to quote, go fast. Here it is. A square of men that is one million and two strong. I don't, maybe the other two are somewhere up there, but we have an almost perfectly nice round number. We could try to use a shotgun smite. All right, shotgun smite, you, blap. One million and one, and you soldier, one million. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do then is summon a tsunami and see how many of the 1 million soldiers perish. So if we do it right here and go. Now it doesn't cover, oh man, that's probably like a fifth, maybe a fifth, a sixth, somewhere in like that. And how far into this does it get? You can see the numbers dropping already. Now the water will linger, but since these men are on hold formation, well, they're, they're going to hold their position, right? That's like 50,000 people. 50,000 people used to stand right here. Now it's a water park. Look at these guys. I can't swim. Maybe take off all that armor and uh, flail your arms about it or something. Come on, guys. Can't be that hard. So a tsunami has the potential to kill like 80,000 thousand men and i think it'll actually keep going as the water spreads you can see the men dropping it's funny how like not a single guy wait this guy knows how to swim nope he's dead do you know how to swim little billy <laughs> well there's your answer now here we go we have to do another test i just realized that we've not tested to see if tsunamis can be stopped by nukes and that obviously needs to be tested tsunami nuke right there Oh, wait, 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 it kind of... No, it, it doesn't really do anything. That would have been amazing if the nuclear blast would have pushed this back. All right, so it is still slowly killing. Now let's compare the tsunami blast to a nuke. Oh, this is, this is gonna be catastrophic. Catastrophic. We had like 90,000 pretty much. Oh my gosh. It is flinging them to the high heavens. Let's go to slow motion. We might still be able to see some dudes flying. There are a few in the air. There's particulate flying in the air. That was hundreds of thousands. Needless to say, nukes are far more destructive, but 
They don't look nearly as cool as this. Now, can we spam these things? I don't think you actually can. Nope, you cannot spam it. Look at this. Imagine surfing this tsunami wave. Yo, dude, epic barrel, bruh. I mean, it's not a barrel, but it's a big wave and it died out. Yeah, needless to say, I would not want to be the soldiers that are used for my uh, tests. So I think it's definitely better. It's definitely cooler than Noah's Flood. Like Noah's Flood. Oh my gosh. Destruction. Look at this. It's raining men. Hallelujahs! Unless, of course, you're like these guys who like do a somersault. They're all doing somersaults involuntarily. Oh my gosh. It'd be cool if like when bodies hit the floor, you know, when you let the bodies hit the floor because you're supposed to let the bodies hit the floor, if they would do damage to these other guys, but instead they don't. Oh gosh. Somehow they're manufa- What? Is he alive? Nope. I thought they were manufacturing strawberry jam or something in there. Anyway, guys, tsunamis have been added to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. And they quite simply are epic. So if you guys do want to see more or have some interesting weapon tests we could try, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Nukes are cool.